Did you know that you can create AI art images within Bing chat? You can see that I've asked it to create draw Japanese watches. Even though my spelling is wrong, it has still managed to create Japanese watches. And I can ask modifications on top of it, just like how we used to do with Dolly. So I can say, can you make them look green? Just in natural language, I can use the existing image and then I can say, can you make them look green? And it is going to attempt to take the existing image and then make them look green. If you have used Dali in the past, you know for sure that this tips that you're seeing on the screen is actually from Dali because Microsoft has integrated Dali with something called Bing Image Creator and that is now part of Bing Chat. And you can see these images that are created. These are 1024 by 1024 images. It looks absolutely brilliant, sharp and really good. And the fact that you can create these images for free is really amazing, like in a conversational style. These days, everything looks like conversational, but if you can create these images in a conversational style, just within your search engine, in this case, particularly the new Bing, it's really amazing. I'm going to ask one more question. I can say that I read online Bing can create images. What is that? Because this has been completely new. I wanted to have both images and text together. And you can see that Bing has started searching for Bing can create images and it is going to give me the details. Yes, Bing can create images using AI. According to the reference that it is given, you can use Bing's free image creator to generate AI images by going to bing.com slash create. One, you can use to create using a Bing chat. You can set a creative conversation style and do it, or you can go to bing.com slash create and do it. If you're wondering what is Microsoft using to create the images, you know that it is using Bing Image Creator, which is actually powered by OpenAI Dolly. It almost feels like OpenAI has forgotten that Dolly exists, but Microsoft remembers that and managed to integrate Dolly within their image creation process. One Bing creation, Bing Image Creator, and also part of Bing Chat. Now you can ask more questions. What are the famous watches in the world? And it is going to give you pictures or sorry, if it's going to give you the text of famous watches in the world. In this case, it's going to probably tell you Rolex and some other brands. And once it says we are going to ask it to create pictures of it, we can ask, this is how um, you can ask a question and then you can create an art based on that. So as you see, it has created some images. Uh, sorry, it, ha it has created some text. Now I can ask, can you make a sci-fi watch based on this? Oops. It looks like there was some keyword, maybe celebrity that was there and it has decided that we are using something wrong other than their content alert policy. So ask something else, leaving the existing question that we asked. So let's ask how about you create some science fiction looking Rolex watches. And you might notice one thing, uh, it is not as fast as what you would have probably experienced before. And I also learned from some Twitter user that you might also hit some rate limits after a point. But when you ask this question, it takes a bit of time. It is not as near real time. Uh, it takes a bit of time for the image to get created. That's because we know that Dali has also been like that. But again, the point here is that you can access Dali level, uh, like Dali quality images within your Bing chat completely in a conversational style. And uh, that's going to create 1024 by 1024, these amazing images. I think I'm completely sold to use this feature like every now and then whenever I need to create an image. But whenever we get to create an image, especially when we see this um, um, high resolution images, I'm always wondering that, is it possible to create YouTube thumbnails out of it? Like that's always a question. So if I ask, can you make a YouTube video thumbnail of this? It's going to of course spend some time and creating some images. Oh, these are the images that Bing has created for us. And you can see the tag Bing image creator. And this actually looks like it's a screenshot from a movie, maybe because we asked for YouTube video thumbnail, it has talk, uh, thought like that. One holy grail of image creation is I think people always look at fingers, but if you can overlay text, that is another amazing thing. So I am asking, can you overlay the text amazing to these images you created? And I think we are going to be disappointed because I know for sure that Dali cannot do text. And uh, if Dali cannot do text, Bing image creator, which uses Dali as a backend, Will it be able to do it? Let's see. No, there is no text called amazing overlaid. It's just trying to overlay some random gibberish English text. This has been the case with Dali. This has been the case with stable diffusion. Um, there are not a lot of models that do really good images, but let's see what is going to happen. 
but right now i actually love this feature so let's thank bing and thank for the interaction i think this is an amazing feature for people who have not tried out image creation tools like stable diffusion and dali and having this within your own conversational style search engine is quite absolutely brilliant so thank you microsoft for enabling this